Alright, so this is the material that I'm going to be using in my bathroom modeling tutorial. It's not really a tutorial, but, you know, it's just me recording myself as I make the model. Um, anyway, so this is the texture that I'm going to be using, and if you have Substance Designer, then you can, like, quickly follow through these steps and get it as well. If you don't, I'm still going to be posting, like, the actual PNG outputs, like, the raster images, so you can get those as well. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. Alright, so to start it all off, I was using bitmaps. And the reason behind using bitmaps is because I already knew the base pattern. There was no point in like recreating this base pattern. It's not something really complicated. So wherever I can use Photoshop to like ease my pain, I will instantly go for that option. Uh, next up, I just use a tile generator and then just split it up into five different outputs. It's, again, nothing special. <laughs> Up until this point, everyone should be able to follow through. And if you're a complete beginner in Substance Designer, then you're gonna have a little bit of trouble. Uh, next up, I'm using Flat Fill over here, and it's Flat Fill basically does this amazing thing where it recognizes where the outlines are and allow, allows you to basically fill up the insides, okay? Uh, flat Fill works well with all of these different nodes over here. I'm using it with Flood Fill to random and then I'm converting that into an sRGB grayscale because Okay, one second if I like plug this directly into this one this happens like These ones just straight up get selected Like this no matter what th settings I do no matter what I do no matter what range I choose, this happens. I, what happens if I do 0 0.01? Alright, never mind, I was wrong, just ignore me. Anyway, uh, next up I use a gradient map. I'm just gonna keep it like that. And one gradient map up here to change all the whites to this shade of yellow. One gradient map down here to basically just grayscale this entire thing. Uh, I do like to turn off the dark blacks over here. I don't really want that, so I basically move that low, like just make them lower. Uh, next up, I'm blending both of these to get this. I'm then blending another color into this one and getting my final base color and just plugging it into the base color. Um, for this one, let me just like unplug all of these. So unplug, 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 and unplug. All right, so that's the base color that I get. Next up, is pretty simple. Um, I needed some sort of metallic roughness. I didn't want the tiles to be perfectly smooth and like perfect reflections all around. I wanted there to be some sort of like, you know, pattern to it. Well, imperfections to it. So that's what I did. I just used like some random grunge maps. I didn't even try like more than a single one. I did sharpen it a little bit because this seemed way too smooth. So when it was sharpened, it looked a lot nicer. Uh, let me just like show you what it looks like without sharpening, okay? Uh, yeah, metallic and roughness go together. So uh, just take a look at this. What happens if I don't sharpen this? Basically, it looks like this. And some people might like that, but I don't really want that in my output. Like in the material that I'm trying to make, so yeah, I decided to sharpen it a little bit. Um, obviously, you can like change the sharpen value to something that you actually like. And I just stood with the original one, yeah, I think. Okay, so I then blended it into these outlines and that gave me like that little bit of details that I actually wanted, okay? Um, obviously, I inverted this to get the roughness because roughness of... Less roughness is equal to more reflections, but like more metallic is equal to more reflections. So I had to like not invert this one, but invert this one. This was a little bit harder to figure out considering I've not used Substance Designer for like making my own materials. I've had, I've bought this for like ever and I've never actually used it. Um, the height, um, Substance Designer doesn't do a great job of like being able to show height and I kind of don't really like that like I'm not a big fan of that like sure it gives you like a faint idea but oh I have to like change all the settings if I want to see them in IRA but it's okay 
So like sure, it gives you a faint idea. In my opinion, other softwares, like especially 3D modeling softwares, they do a lot better job of like displacements. So I'm not really gonna talk about it over here because obviously it also looks bad over here. <laughs> um, normals, 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 normals. So height is completely useless if you don't have normals. Just take a look at this. Uh, I have like, okay, just take a look at this while I connect this. I'm just gonna connect it now. There you go, it looks a lot better. Um, so this is what I basically do with most of my materials if I'm gonna use them in Blender. Um, I don't think I've ever used Ambient Inclusion because I don't use EV. I pretty much only use Cycles. And as far as I know, Cycles does not use Ambient Inclusion at all. Let me know if I'm wrong. Um, so yeah, I do blur before the normals and the reason behind that is actually pretty simple. If I don't blur, even a little bit, it looks garbage. If I blur too much, it looks like this. So I have to blur just like ever so slightly, which was I think 0.15. Yeah, just like this much. It's basically nothing, but it makes such a huge difference. Ooh, I might actually use 0.7. Yeah, I'm gonna use 0.7 from now on. Okay, so actually what happens at 1? No, it's starting to like decrease the width of the tiles, and I don't like that. So let's just... Um, there you go. Where does it stop? 0.5. It, yeah, 0.5 looks fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep the blur at 0.5 now. See, you learn something new every day. Um, yeah, I wasn't really paying a lot of attention. I just wanted a quick material that looked something like the one in the reference picture I was using. But it wasn't like exactly like it because... Honestly, I just wanted to get that other video out as soon as possible. So yeah, let me know if you want me to make more videos like this for all the different materials I make for my tutorials and other sorts of videos. So, okay, have fun and thanks for watching.